Well, this particular week is quite an important week in the history of the club. Uh, the club was formed on the 4th of September 1867 and also on the 2nd of September 1899 Hillsborough held its first football match which was between Sheffield Wednesday and Chesterfield. Chesterfield took an early lead in that game but the first man to score for Sheffield Wednesday was Fred Spikesley who later that season also went on to become the first Sheffield Wednesday player to score a hat-trick on this ground. I'm a co-author of a book on Fred Spikesley called Flying Over an Olive Grove and that is reference to the fact that Fred was one of the stars of the earlier ground of Sheffield Wednesday between 1887 and 1899 called Olive Grove where there is a plaque which commemorates that fact and which the name of the only footballer on that plaque is Fred Spikesley. Uh, he was a young man uh, when he came from Sheffield Wednesday, from Gainsborough Trinity to sign for Sheffield Wednesday. Fred was one of those lucky people in terms of the fact that professional football was introduced as he was growing into be a young man. And this gave him and thousands of others since then the opportunity to uh, sort of live a dream. So rather than, as he would have done, being a compositor for the rest of his life, he had the opportunity to play football, to be paid for it, and to be loved by the people that he was playing for. And he was particularly loved by the Sheffield Wednesday fans uh, during the period when he played from them, which was from the 1891 until 1903 particularly in 1896, where Fred scored four goals and made eight assists as Sheffield Wednesday became the first Yorkshire side to capture what was the largest trophy in the world at the time, which was the FA Cup. And in the final in 1896, Fred scored both of Sheffield Wednesday's goals, including the first one, which is arguably the quickest goal that has been scored in the FA Cup final, certainly within the first half minute and possibly quicker than Louis Sahar's goal for Everton in 2009. Lots of reasons to write about that player, but I guess the present young day generation of Sheffield Wednesday fans might not know who he is. I, yes. So presently, how can you... Uh, who can you compare him with, with the present generation of Sheffield Wednesday players? That would be very difficult. I think with respect to the current generation of Sheffield Wednesday players, the comparison would be unfair. Fred Spikesley was arguably Sheffield Wednesday's finest footballer. I think the player we've compared him with and who we've got the forward to do and who we picked particularly was, was Chris Waddle. We felt that if there was a, a player in the modern generation who could be compared to Fred Spikesley, although Fred played on the left and Chris who played played on the right. We felt that was the sort of uh, man who could bear standing up to up to uh, up to Fred Spikesley. And we, you know, we're delighted that Chris has done the forward to the book. It's you know it's it's nice. As he said, he didn't know a lot about Fred Spikesley. He knew his name was on the Olive Grove uh, plaque and he had heard his name because he knew because with Chris being the last man to score for Sheffield Wednesday in the cup final, he'd heard of Fred Spikesley's name. But obviously he didn't know as much much as that. And to be fair, when I was first approached to write the book three years ago, based on the research, apart from the fact that I knew he'd scored potentially the quickest goal in 1896 in the final, which I'd sort of dug out of the Guardian at the time, which said it was you know in 17 seconds, uh, I didn't know much about him myself. Uh, so it's been great for me to find out about him and to discover what a remarkable footballer he was. So I think if you're going to compare in the you know the recent past, it's got to be Chris Waddle. In terms of the way you've described the book and uh, you've written lots of books yeah. about football players, so yeah. what's so unique about this one? I think the uniqueness is because of because of his life. You know, most people who play football, obviously, they don't certainly do not have a life in which off the stage they escape from a German prison. They don't have a life in in where they act with Fred Carnos circus you know the Fred Carnos things it was massive the football sketch it was immense they would get crowds 10,000 people at theatres they didn't act with Charlie Chaplin they didn't make the first speaking action movies aimed at young people and children they didn't lose lots of jobs because of gambling in particular they uh, were not chased out of out of towns for various things and also because truly amazingly the amount of information which he left 